Oh, I couldn't even move yesterday where I thought I was I was going to throw up. Didn't know what position to lay in, couldn't sleep. My body wasn't really used to that amount of food. I thought I didn't eat like too much and I had a great walk home and then just, it was awful. <laughs> what a great start to start this episode. Episode one, a success. Episode two, a success. Now, the last 30 days. The goals in these 30 days, day 60 to 90, the finishing touch. In this month, I will improve everything that needs to be improved. Also strength-wise. I have a few goals that I want to achieve at the end of this journey. Look out for that. And then, I should be there. Or not. We will see. Alright, what needs to happen this month? What do I want with this? More shreddedness in the chest area. Feel like it's still, you know, definition is not really there. Still fatty, it's, it's, mm. Arm definition and actually got that vein popping and here a little more because that, that it, it's non-existent. Same goes for here. Let's see how far I can push that. Just to show the definition. Ball, obliques. Come on, tricep, tricep game. Back, I just, I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. It's, it's already looking pretty, pretty good. And obviously the main one, abs, ab definition. Am I worried? Mm, I will need to work. I'm pretty hard and cut the calories. Let's, let's get shredded. Still there, still, still. Less than an episode two, but still there. Come on. Getting a bit veiny again, which is, I mean, it's a good thing. <laughs> Means I'm shredding down. Biceps feeling bigger than ever. That's insane. <sighs> Let's do this. Okay, so I made an oopsie. Yeah, uh, a big oopsie. I just uploaded part two of this series, and you guys were quick to point out that. Uh, I said buy a me. I don't think your buy a me is even above average. Buy a me. Buy a me. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, um, buy a me from now on. Great video, by the way. Of course, should have been BMI. 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 This is the Dutch version. BMI. You see, you see, you see, Wertke? BMI. I'm sorry. On a more positive note, this video is number one of my videos ever. <laughs> it's not a joke anymore. We're gonna hit that 500,000 subscribers. All right, let's go for another workout. Welcome to the Netherlands. Literally, the pull-ups here without a shirt yesterday, and now it's, it's, uh, it's shit too. I'm still able to get a workout in. I mean, I'm happy. Guess who's back? And guess who interrupted the workout again? Yeah, as you. I actually just looked into the mirror and I see a little bit more of uh you know the the jaw I see a little bit of the shrinkage in my uh, in my face and uh getting skinny <laughs> skinny guy we're getting there All right so I just finished a treadmill session burned like 3 I'm almost turning the calories to 300 I just couldn't go anymore wanted to do some extra ab exercises I have no energy left and it's been like this for like the past two days. Yesterday didn't really feel like training. The day before also not. I, I did though, I did. But I mean, they're not good training. So that kind of sucks. Today I got it in, felt 
strong. <laughs> Thought I lost all the gains, and then uh, could do some one arm pull ups. Hey, these are my motivators. While I was on the treadmill, I didn't hear the bell, but uh, someone just on the garage door. He just, he just, and uh, look what I got. Swole pen. I mean, I'm almost swole, so I mean, okay. <laughs> It is 10-ish and I just, I don't know. Today I kept walking, I, I don't know. I've been walking for almost 75 minutes now and that mirror there, I just kept looking at it and kept walking. It's something I really have adapted to my life right now. Whenever I'm watching YouTube, whenever I'm chilling, I'm also on the treadmill watching YouTube videos. It's been enough, there you go. It's like these things when I'm when I'm looking at this it just it 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 I've worked so hard already. There is a significant difference but it sucks to not see the progress go as fast as you want. Everyone out there, everyone wants progress as fast as they can. Wanna say you wanna work for it because then it feels better. But there are also points where you have already worked for it and you've been you've been you're still working for it very hard. But the progress is just not showing. Everyone out there has that probably. But it sucks. It fucking sucks. I've actually had my girlfriend telling me that she thinks that I'm not gonna make it. Not look like how I think I'm gonna look like. That I need to, you know, in my mind, leave a spot open for what if you're not gonna make it. I mean, I, I don't think you're gonna be fully shredded. Uh... You know, you need to keep that in mind. What then? You know, what, what, what happens then? But I'm not giving that an option right now. Not yet. Maybe like the day after I fill. <laughs> but I won't. I won't fill. I just won't. The workouts. What did I do? I did a lot. And mainly a lot of maintaining workouts. High volume. Sometimes weighted. It was on and off and short workouts mainly between 20 to 40 minutes i've also had workouts that were two hours long but mainly short workouts why time energy and energy <laughs> i'm 100 percent focused on losing fat with maintaining the same muscle mass so high intensity workouts combined with a little bit of weighted workouts and just workouts that I really wanted to do like 100 pull-ups 100 dips and 100 push-ups 100 squats stuff like that what did I eat? I lowered the calories and just tried to hit my protein and that, that was the main goal. To keep it simple, I made another episode where I show you what I eat in a day and there's also another episode where I show you what I do in a day, what a typical day looks like for me. But a lot of healthy food, just healthy food. A trick to still the hunger, a cucumber. I've, I've been eating these months. I've been eating a shitload of cucumbers. I haven't been, I have still been hungry. No reps, just solid. Chicken, like 200 plus grams, and some water. I'm literally just doing as much cardio as possible so I can eat more. I'm so hungry constantly. I 500 extra calories every single day at least, plus a workout, but because of the low calories and just constantly being hungry, productivity is down. Everything is down. Levels, energy levels are down. Brain power is down, which is something like I just noticed today is insane. I just can't think anymore when I'm doing like stuff for school. It's just I'm so slow and I got exams next week. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I think I'm just going to, you know, try to be active, you know, exercise. Also for the mind, it's good. Making mind gains now, just keeping, you know, exercising. My mood was going downhill like fast. I was also very busy at this point, keeping up with the workouts, school, awesome video IDs, 
and just life like everyone else and on the video about what I eat in a day to get shredded I received comments on that about my mood and that the video would have been a lot more fun without me being such a dick <laughs> I wasn't I was just in a bad mood and I agree but it was raw it was what I was feeling at that point oh and now uh, here's some more footage of me complaining but also me who is still very motivated could be leaner uh but I want it so bad it's gonna happen struggling gonna keep it real I was so motivated by the support of you guys and just in general I really want to get shredded Come on, come on, come on. I was doing some weighted pull-ups and dips. I just I felt I was I was felt like I was gonna pass out. So sat down and uh, ate an apple, weighed a bit, maybe got some energy, but it's not really working. Uh, oh, and also uh, want to do some L-sit to handstand. Didn't really work out. It, uh, I just like, oh, I... <sighs> guess what? Still, uh, sick. Pretty sick, huh? All right, so weighing in. 78.8 she made showed him gains and not completely recovered from the uh, thickness but hey hey come on no pump nothing uh, also feeling quite small <laughs> other side too Okay, so I just weighed in at my goal weight of 78 kilograms. That is a weight loss of almost 8 kilograms. I mean... In the last episode, I explained how the scale works. It uses BIA, an electrical current goes through your body, looks around in the body and writes down what's there. Body fat percentage, muscle percentage, everything. But now, I got the question, how accurate is it? I mean, not as accurate as the really expensive ways to measure your body fat percentage. It's around plus minus one or two percent. Oh damn, this is bad. Actually, it's not. What happens is, you stand on the skill, it gives you the numbers, and you stand on the skill the next time, and it gives you different numbers. Even though the numbers in general are a little bit inaccurate, you can still clearly compare the numbers, look at the result, and see what you're losing, and see what you're gaining. That is exactly what you want. If I'm losing 2% fat, the skill will show that. Yeah, maybe I'm not 11% body fat, but I'm 10. But I still know exactly what I'm losing. Body fat instead of muscle mass. Make sure to check out the skill, link in the description. Use code SBFIT for 60% discount. Also, you thank you for them saying yes to sponsoring this video. They make the entire series possible. Check out the skill. So what better way to compare it than Then go to the park where the other shot was so you know you can you can compare uh, want to keep in mind three things the weather it's a little bit less optimal it's like not the shredded looking light it's a more like front top light natural light two I had a 10 back then because that was after summer now it's before summer so yeah three that also means that the weather is uh, a lot less warmer which means 
less veiny go action going on. Alright, wait, what do I think of the results? I'm not happy. Not disappointed. At all. Not at all. The series is called Fit to Fat to Fit. I mean, check. Done. Proud. But I can tell you one thing for sure, I'm not done yet. I'm going for the best physique I've ever had. Here is some footage of me a little later, where I'm actually glad about my physique. This is a few days later, but still not the shreddedness I want. I want more. There will be one more episode about me doing an extreme transformation challenge for a week. That episode will be up soon. Let's see how far I can push myself. Oh, and uh, and this happened? A human fucking flag. It's feeling good. <laughs> nice. We'll upload some stuff on the second channel too. Uh, yeah, I started the second channel. Vlog style, not sure what will be epic. And if you like my face, you like the content, you like to see more of me, consider subscribing on that channel.